Tertulia. Tertulia. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is February the 6th. 2011, Sunday. The entry is the 1832, 5 pages, 45 ologies, 10 maxima. The theme is conscientiological entry writing, and the subdiscipline is communicology, definology. The conscientiological entry writing is the state condition. Exercise of the function or intellectual title, specific of the co-author, encyclopedist, entry writer, editor of published technical entries for the evolved themes included in the Encyclopedia of Conscientiology. The self-graphic thocenes inserted in the graphothocenity, the concretization of the self-bonding to the conscientiological holothocene, the first convocations to be part of the team of the conscientiology encyclopedia, the 607 volunteers who, until 2010, moved away to Foz, to Iguaçu, and were called to take part in the conscientiological entry ship. The 55 technical teams of the Holocycle also called. The conscientiological teletortulians also called. In parafactology, there is the entry graphical self-inclusion in the multi-existential self-relay in group, the self-exposure in the cinemascopic time capsule helping the future self-identification of the seriaxis. We have in argumentology Collins. This author created the first bad phrase at the Tertullierum of Siaeki, where's the book, in 2009. And the next year created the second bad phrase, where's the entry, in order to call intermissivists to publish their books, Jescons or mega Jescons for the multi-existential self-relay, and also the entry or entries for the Encyclopedia of Conscientiology. Everybody is called. Pioneers. Under entryology, there are the initials and names of 17 pioneers of the Conscientiology Encyclopedia, the first entry writers. And there are the mini biographies of all of them. Adriana Lopes, Maria Cristina Bassanese, Kátia Caporali, Dulce Daú, Eduardo Martins Baltazar, Flávio Amaral, Flávio Bononato, Fátima Soares, Hernande Leite, Kátia Porto Aracaki, Leandro Martins Leporassi, Munir Batsi, Neida Cardoso, Nina Rosa, Mozato da Silva Manfroy, Nilce de Oliveira, Felipe Abib Mansu, Rosa Nader. In referenciology, there are five that I want to highlight here. Application of the new idea, holocarmic authorship, evolutionary priority scale, policies of conscientiological authorship, and technique of the entry qualification. The conscientiological entry writing designates in a singular way the mental somatic volunteering of the intermissivist cogno cognopolitan encyclopedist and the goal of the multi-existential self-relay. Question. Have you reader already written any entry for the Encyclopedia of Conscientiology? Do you have a theme for the entry writing? Well, these 17 people here are 
shining. There are people here who have a problem because they shine in other areas, but they haven't written an entry yet. So these 17 people here are going to stay here forever. There are some here, Arlindo, Loche, Adélio, João, Pilar, Cristina Aracaki, Mabel, Cristiane, Cristiane Ferraro, and Pedro. This is a protest from, uh, from me. I call you to write. Now, question. I'm reading a Rousseau's book, Reveries of the Solitary Walker. It's the last book he wrote. There are so thoughts, reflections on his life, on the last days of his life. Do you agree this is some kind of self-research? Yes, he had an extraordinary mind. It can be. Question. Uh, in the launch of Professor Marcelo da Luz's book yesterday, you commented that there, there was a cardinal who became a pope in the past who was helping the work of people in conscientiology. Who was this cardinal? Did he come to be a Mexican dissident? Yeah. I know all of these people, I know them, and I, I'm not going to talk about that right now. Question, I think about studying my Penta, about Penta, one decade before starting it, and I believe that in 10 years I'm going to master my energies and have a good nest egg. So when I'm 28 years old, I will start my penta. What do you think about this? Well, that's it. You show that you want to do something here. Go for it. Another question. In your projectology book, you talk about an experience you had that you were attacked by eight sick consexes whose violence could kill you, could cause your desoma. But you had the rememoration of a mantra. So can a projection cause a desoma? Sure, a sneeze can cause a desoma. I met a guy who had a desoma in the elevator. So it's very easy to die. It depends on the person, on the energy of the person. But in this case here, I was rescuing a consex. I was a spy, an intruder. So that's normal. But a projection can cause a desoma, just like any other thing. Uh, the intruders are the biggest murderers on Earth. Professor, you, I know you put the mantras in second place. Yeah, that's it. For example, if I talk to an Indian, I am going. I need to talk in their language. Are the mantras secondary? Yeah, sure. What mantras helped you escape from this attack? Well, my mantras. He wants me to say that. Question, uh, could you elaborate on the answer you gave to Tom about the Serenissimus yesterday on the launch of Marcelo Dalu's book? Because you talked about the um, Serenissimus and it's an induction reasoning because it's based on your case. Well, no way, because many other people have experienced that. Okay, 
I, do you think these advanced theories of conscientology will be consolidated in this life? Well, I don't care about that. I'm going to do my job. If you like it, it's okay. If you don't like it, just leave. There is a lot of things to do. If you help others, it's a big thing already. It's great. But don't worry about these things of secondary stuff. But the Serenissimus, this word Serenissimus, I didn't hear this word the first time. There was a lady who heard, who talked about that the first time. Did you meet her, that lady? Yeah, she was very nice. That's, what, that's who said this word for the first time. And regarding theories and hypotheses, principles of conscientiology, there are many things who are already established. And, for example, Penta. Do you think Penta is going to die after I die? This is nonsense. Millions of people practice Penta nowadays. There was a guy who told me that I could die after writing the Penta manual. You see, it's been a long time. Another question. I'm reading projectiology and I haven't had a lucid projection. And this is not part of my reality so far. I think this is a controversy issue. Being projectiology a leading edge science, why do you think it's not necessary to explicit your criteria of scientif scientificity? and epistemological validation. It's in your book, page 45, in item criteria. So I say there that it's not necessary to explicit my criteria of scientificity. scientificity. Well, I didn't do this in this book because it took me 19 years to write this book. It was not necessary. People need to leave their bodies to understand what I'm talking about. So that's the disbelief principle. You need to do it yourself and see what happens. I just give the indications the signs. I don't have projections for others. It doesn't work like that. So let's understand this. If I wrote a treatise of over 2,000 pages, I believe he hasn't read the whole book because I talk a lot about that. The, the main idea of this treatise was to consolidate the theory of the objective body. I started talking or deepening these studies of the mental soma in 700 experiments treatises. So this projectology treatise is, was just the rehearsal, just the beginning. It was just the appetizer. Do you want to say anything? You write about the, the verb, the entrygram. Could you talk about that? The entrogram is what people here are doing already. It's the group of the study of the entry. It's like a prescription of the entries. Oh, that's the, the entrogram? Yeah, that's it. I haven't done this prescription yet. Today I'm going to talk about a new entry that I talked about on TV. 
because this entry is related to the consensual paraconvergence. It's called continuous memory. I'm going to talk about that, all the argumentation. It's all handwritten. It's, I haven't typed it yet. Another question. I have very difficult basic projections. I haven't felt the vibrational state, unless if it's what you call the intracranial sounds or the pressure that I perceive. Is it strictly necessary to have the vibrational state to have a projection? No, no. The most important thing is the will. Could you talk about this? Well, you need to read the, this book I have just shown here, Projectology. You need to study that. This will help you. Valdo? Yeah? Let me talk about the entry real quick. I've spent just 16 minutes so far, so I can read a little bit more here. Right? So, uh, Cognopolis Cine Club is back on February 6th. We are going to see this movie of 93 minutes in, at the Sentimentum. What time does it start? Do you know? 8.30 p.m. It would be very good to go there. It's from our friend Richard and his friend. So this movie is very good, a dog's story. I suggested this movie for people to watch. Another point here, um, convocation call for the Council of the 500 today. There will be three uh, the debate on the three consecutive absences for exclusion for the people who are part of the Council. There will be the inauguration of new Council members and the evaluation of results of the Council of the 500. I ask you to go there, to show up. Today I have some things to do and I won't be able to go there. Who is going to show up? Are you going there so you can represent me, okay? There is this project, Infotaris, and there is this infographics over here, and it's about the hollow interviciology, and this project has the aim of creating infographics for the consensuality dissemination. If you want to contact them, you can write to infographics at gmail.com, email.com. They have all details here, right? If you miss this, you are in trouble. It's very well done. Oh, that's him over there. He is very good in this. His work was very good. Very advanced. And the creation of coordination, it's his. Now we have this National Geographic, and it's talking about that's what I was always talking about, um, playing ball and kicking the ball with the head. 
So they are talking about football here, of hitting balls with head. To the head may lead to brain deterioration over time. So as good it will so I say center. I've been talking about that for over sixty years. They are talking about these hitting balls. Problems. Another point here, we have talked a lot about friendship lately. So in this super interesting magazine, it says it's impossible to be happy alone. The key of, for happiness is the friendship. Friends can make you happy, have good jobs, lose weight. This is very interesting. There are many jokes about that. It's very funny. So if you want to have a look at it, it's okay. So then you can give it back to me. Another thing. Entry writers from ICCC. There will be more, nine more entry writers here. There will be 28 in total. I want to you I want you to give to applause Adriana because she has done four entries so far. She won. She hasn't won from me. She hasn't been the winner yet. But she will do that. It's going to be possible. She's great. So, this entry thing is very important, very serious. I am filing this material, and I want to tell you, as you know, I have a backstage cabinet, and I put all these things, these serious things there. I have hundreds, thousands of materials there. It's full of materials there from Tertulia and all that. After two years we've been here, there are a lot of material there. Probably I'll have to build some other place to put these things. I have all the questions filed. A lot of paper. And now I would like to talk to you about this entry I have just done. I've just started. And I had 20 entries on extra physiology. And this one is continuous memory. I have never talked about that. This is brand new. Definition. It's the mnemonic condition of the consign being a child when acquires at birth through a birth trauma or retrocognition, the conservation and utilization of the memory in a continuous way. Did you understand that? The synonym, the prolonged memory, the uninterrupted memory, the consecutive memory, antonym, segmented memory, fragmented memory, which is which happens in, in most of humanity. This is part of extrasensorial perceptions, the hollow mnemonics. I have the, the list of the 
discipline. And I have six items in argumentology. So, on para research, there are six occurrences to explicit the continuous memory of the child. First one, elderly. The elderly has a memory and usually refers to the past in due to the fact that they have had they have lived longer to child the child obviously have never lived long enough to have great memories experiences three maturity if the child had a cranial trauma at birth, this could favor retrocognitions. This is an hypothesis of, for example, Eusapia Palladino and Aileen Garrett. She had, they had this trauma just like I had when I was born. Four, self-retrocognitions. These give you the memories of an other intraphysical lives and helps the child in their giftedness. Five, the continuous memory of the child who is gifted, and in this case, the parapsychism. Six, self-parapsychism. This, con this condition potentializes the parapsychism of the child as a child and even as an adult being an adult. So this is totally against the seriexis because it finishes with this serious point that the intraphysical life makes us forget everything. So can you imagine a child having all this memory? I had this, I lived this. Dentro de situações super adversas, because por isso que eu falo, I had many difficult situations, and this memory helped helped me overcome all these things. So this helps a lot. Being more mature in a very early age. And this also helped me with my parapsychism. You don't need to be a genius to acquire that. Even an accident drives you to have this a pathological situation. Uh, for example, Dr. Salles, he was a specialist on this. He admitted this hypothesis of cranial trauma helping the parapsychism. I started having this memory when I was three years old. So at the time you can have a huge collection of information, but you need to have, to be methodic, to have organization to do that. There are many people who got disturbed or got epileptic, schizophrenic. 
It's necessary to have a previous process in order to have, it, have this phenomena and have no harmful consequences. I've seen continuous memory in many people. Do you remember that case of that kid who was 11 years old and they opened their, his head in four places? So when I met him, he was over many things. He was much better than I was. And the kid knew how to speak five languages. He used to speak Russian, and I didn't know how to speak Russian. He was just great. You see, he had this thing in the head, but he died earlier in an early age. He died because of the process of his head. Let's see if neuroscience can broach this matter. Besides what you said, what helped you was the prolonged intermission and your macrosoma also, right? Well, it's more than that. In my case, macrosoma didn't impact that much. It has a global influence, but not, this, not to this memory. Even my Ippolit stuff here, it's all global. You have said that these kinds of accidents that pro provoke continuous memories are against seriaxis. Yeah, because during seriaxis you forget everything, so it lacks all that ser serious things. You don't know about your mother, your neighbors, you know, don't, know, don't know about your father. In this case, you know everything. Yeah, but we were studying that entry, intraphysical life, and you make a list of new conditions we are supposed to go through, and one of them was the new accident. So this kind of accident is for those who have uh, merit, who, those who deserve, right? No, not like that. I could have come without my accident and recover my memory anyhow. Anybody is able to do this without the accident. What I'm talking about is that this accident solved some problems. But there are goods that come from the bad. But you don't need to go through bad things to evolve, you know. What I see is the, is the following. From the worst, this is the least worst. I have been struggling in this body to take advantage of everything I have, everything to use all my nails. I have to nail this chance. I do what I can. Just look at me. It's the self-determinology. You see, have we brought this entry? Yeah, so people know about this, right? But did you understand what I said? Yeah, Professor, but when I saw this nail accident, the first one uh, impacted me. Yeah, but the nail accident, I'm going to say something, okay? From the scientific and philosophical point of view, you, uh, you may ask, don't you think that every resumation is a nail accident? That's what I call biological shock of the rebirth. That's all. That's it. This encompasses the whole issues. Yeah, Professor, but this is something that is already foreseen. Yeah, but the problem is not this. Just think about the real urbanizator. He comes in that idiot body and he masters energies with his arm tight behind his back. I want to be like him. 
Okay. For the perspective of reurbanization, how do you see the increasing of the Islamists? Well, we should remember that there are one billion people in Islam. And there is, there is too much fanaticism, creating lots of interpretations, every kind of crazy interpretation. People, there are people who are violent and those who are more pacifist. They are more peaceful. But check what's going on. On TV, there, were, there was this program talking about this. What's the evolutionary level of a person that has telekinesis? Does anyone you know have manifested telekinesis? Why there are so many cases in Russia? Have you written about this? Yeah, I have. But the problem is that this is one of the most difficult phenomena because you waste a lot of energy and it's just a mirror of the phenomenon. So there's not much assistance. You should think better about this. But you know something really huge on telekinesis? You leave a tap, okay? You open a tap and the water flows and you say the water will go to the right or to the left. You use your energies. You will waste a lot of energies and the water in movement. The only good thing is that water is sensible, is sensitive to ectoplasmia. So you need to start throwing energy before the tap. It's not written in any book, okay? And this is one of the most difficult I have ever had. There was this commercial place in Ipanema. It was a very beautiful place. I don't know if you remember when we went there. I think it was Copacabana. What was the name? Very big. On the left side of Copacabana. Menescal. That's it. Menescal. I entered and I told my son, there is a tap there, so let's move water. <laughs> Which side do you want to move the water to? He was very, very young. They had this tap. And when I entered, I could show him. My cousin is 15, and she's going to make a tattoo. We have told her not to do that. However, she doesn't care about our opinion. What do you think we could do in order f uh, she could she would give up doing this? Well, who has control over her, mother or the father? They are the ones who are supposed to tell her she's not that stupid. They should say, those who make tattoos are very stupid, even being something very fast. This is an industry. Watch out. Because after you do the tattoo, your body will always be marked. There will always be some problems. When you find someone that hates tattoos and you fall in love with this person, just imagine that. Can you deal with that? So their par her parents should talk to her, okay? But you know, guava warm and young ladies are difficult to deal. The ladies are even worse than guava worms because the, of their hormones. Their tendency is effective and sexual to make these tattoos at this age. But bring the lady here, and I can uh, talk to her, I can make a reprimand. I'll show her reality with calm. You know what I would do? I would tell her all her weak traits and all her strong traits. 
And I would tell her that we could increase her bad assets by making the tattoos. It works. A year or two, a couple of years ago, I told these two kids they wanted to make tattoos, but I think there was this aunt with them, and they gave up in a way that, you know, our vice, I mean, the muse of the new management, the new administration of Brazil has a tattoo on her neck, on the back. But this is the place for the intruders, right? No comments on that. How is going to be the future of the tertulias without you, sir? Well, it doesn't matter. Don't care about that. There are several tertulias everywhere. Is there any interfiscal preparation of epicenters to continue the tertulias? No. No way. There are many people that can sit here in my place and go do a better job than mine. But I don't want them to sacrifice themselves, right? I know that you, sir, are a unique consciousness with all your efforts, and I admire you and I would like to have you here with us testing your patience with me this dumb guy I don't think you are a dumb guy I think you're great but don't worry about this what do you see what do you understand about Tertullian this is the, the point Professor, letter A, I want to make a question. Right, okay. Be my guest. Yeah, question. In mythology, Professor, could you explain this myth of the authorship, absolute exclusive authorship? The myth of the exclusive absolute authorship is related to those people that write books and don't allow people to write with them. There is no co-authorship. There is no anthology. I, I myself wrote 17 books with Chico Xavier. And I've been doing the encyclopedia and there are already 17 authors with me. I don't have this myth. It's the solitary thinker myth. Those people who defend their work, don't share ideas, don't, don't make uh, the bridges so people can reach them. They are just in their tower. So, would the multiple authorship be something interesting? Of course. Marina and Antonio are an example. No, but there are other people, Professor. Yeah, of course. There are several of them. I am for the anthologies, depending on the anthology. Professor, why are you for anthologies? Because of the share of ideas, the many authors, many people working together, our encyclopedia is going to be just like Britannic. We have those names written there, the abbreviations. That's it. Balara, what are you supposed to talk first? Very important, Valdo. You said in the beginning of the Tertulia, you actually, you said the names. You talked about me, Loshi, Chris, and other people. Yeah, it's a shame you haven't participated in the pioneerism of this issue. These 17 people are the first and that followed everything we talk about here. Bovaldo, you listed these people because they are already in that list of people writing the entry? No, these are the first writers. 
Well, the one you listed today. No, these are people who are working with me. For how long I have you have you been working with me? Thirty years. She's been working with me. No, Valdo. I thought you had a list of those who are writing the entries. But is this the list you read today? No, the list I read was of those who have haven't written. They are late. They are late. You see, these 10 people I talked about today are late because they are every day here with me and they haven't done anything. And there are younger people. One of them is Hafa. How old are you? For how long have you been here with me? For someone so intelligent, he is able to draw, he knows about comics, many things. It's a shame. Valdo, I thought you had the list of those who are writing. Yeah, I already have that too. You will see. There are 11 more people. So, I'll have soon 28 co-authors in my encyclopedia. I'm, I'm great. I'm that good, huh? But I'll try to reach 300 people. Do you think I can handle that? Aren't there 600 people here in Faso Basu? If half of you write... But for the first not to be named in Tertulia, how many entries are we supposed to write? Well, you need to make more. You need to write more than four entries. But this is still too little, right? You could have written 10 entries each. What are you doing? Have you been sleeping the whole day? Have you been playing football? Have you been playing video games? What are you doing? Vivaldo, you said that if we were not able to sit down and write an entry, it meant that we haven't <laughs> passed through the bottleneck. That's my case. No, You're no, feeling no, right, no, right? No, aren't you? No, 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 no Valdo, I'm not. I'm not. No, no, <laughs> I'm anxious because I'm not able to finish that. Oh, it's a shame. Shame on you. Professor, I would like to take advantage of this opportunity and say that we're going to have a program of entryography. It's going to be an intensive course. We also have a web page about the entry writers. It helps a lot. And Leandro is organizing that. Entryography. To write in an encyclopedia. What are you waiting for? Marconi, I've got my eyes on you, right? He's clever. He's really clever. No, no, shame on João. Shame on João. But now he's studying his mistakes. And through his mistakes, he's going to make some good work. He's reviewing things. He'll learn. I think. I trust all of you. I trust everybody, okay? We trust some more than others, of course, depending on the profile. Am I right? With no profile? Just like in psychiatry. Yeah, professor, uh, just talking about something else, right? But I, I have three ready entries. Yes, I didn't talk about you. Valdo, I don't have any difficulties on writing. My problem is the computer, the form. <laughs> if I had someone who could help me. But, lady, there are several schools, computer schools in Fazio What are you waiting for? Listen to me. If she doesn't have the money, we can pay the course for her. 
professor, he doesn't know how to do that also. No, but there are other teachers. How about Rosa? Have you talked to her? Rosa has the same name, yeah. Professor, I would love him to review my entries, but I review and they always send me back and I, it lacks some space. I am late. I'm late. So buy her a fine comb so she can use the fine comb, okay? Valdo, I know all those form things. So I have many ideas, professor. Oh, my, my lady. Ideas. People have ideas galore, but they lack practice. It's not worth it. I don't buy that. About articles, published entries, published books, don't defend yourselves because you are in trouble. Your condition is not good, okay? Don't defend yourselves. Don't look for excuses. This is definite. It's a shame. Shame on you. All of you. I would like to ask a question. You talked about continuous memory and the epilepsy, schizophrenia and gifted people. I came to the conclusion that the epileptic and the schizophrenic are those gifted people who are not able to let to express this giftness, isn't it? No, no, no. It's what happened to my brother. He had problems during his birth and he had epilepsy for the rest of his life. He was never able to overcome this problem. I overcame this syndrome, but he wasn't able to overcome. It's very serious. So, for example, if he were able to overcome that, maybe he could be a gifted person, right? He was gifted. He had. He was huge. He was very good. He went to dental school and he was able to scope uh, a teeth. He's. His professor called him to work with him. So what we see in schizophrenic cases, people are not able to deal with information. And is this mass the main problem? No, we need to check the genetics and the conviviology. It's a matter of pathology. His rela their relationships are always pathological. And he said that the parapsychical epileptics suffer intrusion from the mega intruders, isn't it? Yeah, especially when there are crises. It's all a matter of the past. It reveals, it shows some very huge crisis, but they enter those antique holothocenes. And I have had experiences with people who decimated uh, due to epilepsy. So this mental confusion provoked in the epileptic person could be due to this access to the holo memory brought by the mega intruder, the case is the following. They are very sensitive, like Grandma. You see a person, and a mega intruder who was a victim enters in that holothocene. That vibration of the energy deals with their 
Agora, ele tem uma aura antes, ele nota a hora que chegou a consciência. Their system, Eu atendi um monte de gente, vi isso tudo. Nervous certo. system. Agora, a pessoa sente a aura. But você the person the feels the aura and the holothecine changes. Most times, these people dealt with energies and parapsychism in other lives, but they are they suffer these alterations. I'm talking about the crisis. I'm talking about chronic crisis. You see? It's not easy. We should examine each case. Always dealing with parapsychism, right? Or even not being able to deal with that, right? Yeah, energy works a lot through them. There are epileptical that when you do the voltaic arc, everything changes, the intruder goes away, and the person spends a long time with no epilepsy due to the energies and the condensation of those energies on their heads. I've been studying gifted people, but how about the non-gifted? These people could be Idiots, or the person could have been a genius. Yes, this is a temporary, temporary lack of intelligence. Okay, thank you. Uh, what does uh, hitting the ball with the head in football and the magazine you show there because I've, I've played football for over 10 years and um, I would like to know more about that well you need to study that see this magazine you need to study the anatomy and the physiology of the head what happens when you are hitting a ball the magazine explains a lot of things on that. Question. I started doing the projectology course at IIPC in Sao Paulo. Last night I had a dream and in the middle of this dream I got lucid and I noticed that the dream was not real. And I tried to hold my fingers and it was like a a rubber. So I noticed that I had a lucid projection. So in this case, my doubt is, what can we do to have a lucid projection at this moment? So I haven't, ha I haven't met any people who work like you do. At this age, how do you have so much lucidity and energy? Well, in this case, you need to exteriorize your energies, a lot of energies, to see the environment you are. This will help you a lot. And regarding energies, you talked about everybody here have a lot of energy. If you work with your vibrational state, you are going to have more energies than the whole Itaipu dam. Here in Foz do Iguaçu, there are the basic seven categories of energies. I use this all the time. Since the cats at home, you guys here, the trees. Today, I took a wild soursop to Roberto to study. I was checking because some birds were trying to eat it. So we have a tree in front of my house and another tree at the back. The fruits are this size. Very big. Oh, that's, it's over there. That's the soursop. Film this for people to see. 
Another question. When I was born, it was through forceps. I had, I hit my head and the eyes. Even nowadays, I have a stain in, uh, between my eyebrows. I have a good memory. It's easy for me to learn languages, and I am learning things very easily. I have many a lot of memory. And could you clarify more on that? Well, you need to study that. You need to study Eusapia Paladino's biography. And also Oily Garrett's. They were medium of psychics of a high level. Yours, it was very serious because it took your frontal chakra. Mine was not like a forceps. It was like Turkish. It was a different thing. Question. The civil disobedience from the Egyptian is legitimate? Well, I don't think this disobedience is so strong. Their dictatorship has been going on for over 30 years. 30 years, three decades. And they leave this Mubarak like that. So you see Barack Obama, Mubarak. This is the Barak age. Question. Once I talked to this very evolved Consex, and she told me that we could go back in time of the dinosaurs. How can Consex travel in time? Well, you can just travel, go to a planet where the dinosaurs live. There are planets who have dinosaurs. Do you know the address? That's the problem. It's not in the yellow pages. Valdo, I would like to go back to this continuous memory and schizophrenia. There is an hypothesis of that which says that the physiology naturally makes you lose synapses. But with schizophrenia, this wouldn't happen. So maybe this has a relation with this amplified memory. Yeah, there, there are a lot of hypotheses that need to be studied. You, if you see his book, there are information for over 30 years. This study I had on giftedness was deepened when I talked to this doctor and I could see things more, have a global vision of things. But Aloysio and Santos, they haven't talked about the extra-physical. But the serious thing is, here is the level of retrocognitions, lucid and healthy retrocognitions, with ponderation, logics, demonstrating the case and showing a level of evolutionary discernment. That's what I say, what I call evolutionary intelligence. So we see some things like that with Eusapia Paladino, with Garrett, the things they did. Garrett created an institution on parapsychism. This was a reality to her. And Eusapia Paladino was involved with everything. She had a lot of processes on ectoplasmy. 
Physics, phenomena. People consider she was the biggest psychic of all times. She was very primitive. But Garrett was more scientific, more advanced. She had some kind of culture. But this is all to be done. Parapsych parapsychology stopped all this. All those computering studies with machines are over. There are good people working on that. There are millions being invested on this, but so far, no concrete results have been done. We have to see all these things. There is a lot of combats on this. Because they will have to change everything. If they accept half of what I say here, the world will be a mess. Religion, science, all these basic criteria will be this will be secondary. There will be more important things than that. Science is like that. So you need to study that. Let's see what comes out in science, since they are studying all that and using machines, maybe there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. There was a friend of ours who came here three, four years ago, and he's been working on these issues. But there's a lot of points related to religion. Yeah, it's very difficult when people go to ac academia and then they are defending their biographies and they're just left. It's hard to open your mouth and talk the truth. Everybody just lays down on their knees and just like in church, in the university, it's like that. All, they, all of them are just they're not doing anything. Just like a king who is blessing everything. Paulo, I'd like to talk about epilepsy. Did you study the percentage of the epileptics who have this origin? No, the biggest cases of epilepsy who have convulsions and chronic problems in the body are not the point here. I'm talking about the big one. Most of these big cases have intrusion. I have even traveled a lot to study these cases. The, the cases uh, from which I learned more was when I could talk to the consexes who had died and I could feel the process. Agora, eu fiquei só pensando que eu passei muito perto de ser epilético. And I, I was wondering because I was very close to being epileptic. Vou falar para você uma das coisas piores que tem. I'm going to tell you one of the worst things that there are. That's why I understand the Baratros fear. When you feel the aura of the epileptic, 
a três, quatro, cinco, dez séculos aí para trás. Que ele matou uma pessoa, por exemplo. So então, you could feel the game, stigma e ele from all those memories from the past lives é they had. From the, então, the times sem, they killed many people. É and there is no space é for such thoughts. There is a lot of bitterness, então, of anguish. É a de você uma the coisa anguish of feeling something that there is no space to have it there. You're just coisa, feeling a, a the sensation. Não é de terror, não é There is not a disso, terror é sensation. It's just a bitterness. That's why people wrote like that. In forget everything when you enter hell. I think that's what they mean. Because epileptics, when they have the crisis, They feel just like that. Professor, on the 28th, when we helped this Baptist church people, the pastor told Ricardo and other five people that he felt humiliated here. That's the words he used. Why was he humiliated? Well, He was talking about the ideas from church, the absolute truths, and when we talk to him about the disbelief principle, the leading edge relative truths, he said that. Yeah, maybe he's angry about that. We need to study that, but you know, I spent 28 years in the spiritualism. The last years I was there, I was leading, I was a leader there. So I think most of them know what is wrong and what is right, but they want to be there sitting on the fence. But pastors, you cannot play with them. Every day I talk to people who have, prob have had problems with pastors. The pastors from these churches, they don't have the same pedigree, the same information, didactics that priests from church. There is no study to have a curriculum, biography. They put everything there as pastors, everybody there as pastors. It's a shame. Pastor is, pastors are dangerous. If people ask me, what do you think about pastors? Well, for me, pastors so far are people who deal with the sheep, who are shepherds of Baratrosphere. That's very serious. The biggest fanatics are among these pastors. Question. Um, you told me I had to write an entry and I'd like to know when there will be a course on entries. Did you like the mangoes that I sent you? And the sweets? Yeah, he sent me some sweets, some coconut sweets. And it was very well done. Very well made, like tapioca. 
Agora, o caso seguinte, dia 17, vai ter alguma coisa, 17 de But maio. Mas, guys, are there Eu, going é to be tá any courses on the 17th? A verbetografia em maio, como é que está? Are there going to be any course? Well, we haven't planned to have any courses in May. So, Orlando, you can contact Rosa before you come here. He's coming in May, the month of the flowers of weddings. He's coming on the 17th of May. We are preparing the online course. Valdo? Could you elaborate on the continuous memory and the parapsychism? I guess it was when you were a child. How does this happen? Well, if the person... Na infância, ela segue com mais. Eu, por exemplo, ainda não tenho essa memória contínua de If the person doesn't have, isn't a child, they won't have a continuous memory. So, that's the verpons you're talking about here. The 8,000 pages of the encyclopedia. But how can one develop the parapsychism? You said that the continuous memory. So, pay attention to that. If they are a child and have a continuous memory, that's it. The biggest problem is the intraphysical. Lack of memory being as a child. That's the difficult thing. If the person overcomes that, it's over. Even though it's, if it's like that with a punch in the head. Well, I never needed to be intruded sessions of the intrusion, psychiatrists. I worked with many psychiatrists, but assisting them. You said the continuous memory develops parapsychism, but does the person need to have a parapsychic potential? Yeah. Everybody is a psychic, parapsychic. The serious thing here is the continuous memory. As I say here, from these serious things, let's see what I'm talking here. The continuous memory or the memory in a less gapped condition like mine helps the child with the memory and even the adult. So if the person has this memory, they have the parapsychism, right? Well, inside the continuous memory, there is the retrocognition. But I'm talking to the most serious retrocognitions. For example, the intermission retrocognition or memory. And then the memory from previous lives. It's difficult to remember previous lives that are closer to the present time. Very old lives are easier to remember. But what I want to draw your attention here in the hollow memory is to value what you have in terms of hollow mnemonics. The memory is one of the most complex, most complex things I've talked about for a long time. 
Agora, a minha vivência de memória But my é experience of memory is serious. É I know where mal, é I have done things wrong, que é que aprendi, que what é I misunderstood. Agora, que isso aqui, ó, é sério, isso But que this is dentro very serious. Quais são os pontos mais sérios dessa história? What are the Primeiro, most important points here? The process that it is Agora, prolonged, non-stop. And the other point here is the difference between Agora, the child and the adult. Today I am an elderly, but I was a child, this child. So we need to check the elderly who have reached the same Agora, você veja bem o problema Level, dentro as de I have reached. A, eto, a, a autorretrocognição que traz uma série de So you see there are the retrocognitions who will Agora, lead to all these things you are talking é about. One point here is the mental Essa biological de fatores é que traz um fenômeno grande. Reality. Bravo, sério, da história. A conjugação dos fatores. E é justamente so isso there que are these many factors who are got brought together. Que eu chamo de para And this is what I call the interconsensual paraconvergence. Most of these people I have studied, I have studied, concluded that they have parapsychism. Adriana, in my opinion, with time, we'll be able to discover more people than these 22 who are accessible and rational within this pattern we're talking about. The day we bring these people here, I'll ask you to think about that a little bit more. For example, Emmy will discover something that was never seen, Katia and Rosa, all of you. I'm talking about Ami because of her polyglotism process. You know that polyglotism and memory are together. But she hasn't discovered that for real. Am I right? You see? With her abilities, her capacity, we should do like a perforation, like a drilling from Petrobras inside her head to see her memories, those family albums, to check and see how it works inside her head. The tendency of the polyglotist is to expand its memory. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That's why I, I'm calling your attention to her case. So she should check those 22 phenomena are parapsychical manifestations or acquisitions like achievements, for example, microsoma, extra-physical clinic, universal blood donation. Seems silly, but it, it's very important. They call it. So I'm talking about the inner, the inside and the outside to show you everything and see the effects. But what would you like to say? I have a question about the last effect related to retrocognitions. The effects of the mini biographies of the entry writers in future lives. It's very clear. Find your way out. The mini biography will bring retrocognitions from this life to the next lives? Is that? Well, entry writers against entry writers 
I'll just <laughs> stay here, okay? The fact of the mini-biographies in future retrocognitions of this real current life. You will be there in next life, but you remember, you will find yourself within, among, I mean, among the entry writers. Read again. Oh, but I thought that this, in this life, I would have a retrocognition. No, it's your future retrocognition about the current life, okay? Well, it makes sense, but I saw something different. Valdo is talking about energy the same time as the ladies are talking about the, the issues. It's not mega euphorization. It's an intellectual expansion. He showed up because of the memory issues. I'm talking about Ayak. Evoke him when you think about memory. He's very sympathetic. He, he's very good looking. Arab, Arabic, young male. Mental somatic. It's funny because he's so Arabic, he's so Muslim in this life, and he had this mental soma. That's why I always talk about the Arabic mathematicians. Where is that generation? Come on. Well, there is another effect about affection, which is very interesting. The effects of the conscientiological tertullias for free regarding the integration of the ICCC. Well, this is obvious, but this affection, integration, and the parabonds, what's that? Of course, aren't you my sister? You're my younger sister. And she is, she's short and she's like the younger sister. But the presentation of this entry, of this entry writer, uh, expresses or exposes all these bonds. Uh, is that what you're talking about? No, the way uh, we are doing here the Tertullias ma already makes an integration among all of you, from mental soma to your soma, reaching all the, the vehicles. Just like that lady that spent two days here, and when she was about to go back home, she started crying. I have seen this dozens of times. There, are, there may be many people, like many men, that don't talk about that. Women express their emotions, but men don't feel like doing it. Professor, is this like uh, when they're missing the intermissive period? Yeah, most of them. But I have seen many guys from Europe suffering this. I think we are going to deal with this and we are going to reach people's emotions, just like that case in Barcelona. Yeah, when they make that course, they will receive the material and a box with some handkerchief, right? Yeah. Regarding this first effect, Ami said, my suggestion is for you to change from current life to upon current life. So the sentence will make more sense. Okay, we're going to make it for you. You understood. And polynomial, the second one, 
O segundo polinômio. O polinômio postura, olhar, voz, gesto, sendo Posture, forte, look, forte, voice, forte, gesture as a strength, yeah. strengthening yeah. the <laughs> manifestations. Well, the focus here is the writing. So you want you are referring to debates and interaction, not only the writing itself, right? Yeah, a smile sometimes uh, makes you lose control. There's this guy who wants to make some refutation, <laughs> and the lady smiles, and he loses his way. You have just mentioned about the extra-physical consciousness. Sometimes you make uh, a cleaning, and the person you clean spends two months, and then everything comes back again. Yeah, because there is evocation, and these people are not able to keep the clean, that clean process. Valdo, is it possible for us to think, maybe it's my concern, Okay, but regarding seriaxis, it, each shock of resumation could be considered part of an exercise of, for the mental soma to fixate and lose this memory gap and start having something continuous. For example, in my case, I think that I will have more continuity. That's why I deal with lexicology, why I have always had dozens, hundreds of dictionaries to work with. That's very serious. Something that amazed me was when they discovered that Aurelio had left 500 dictionaries. That's nothing. In that occasion, I had much more than that. Just me. Besides all of those dictionaries I gave to people and I didn't bring here, I have always had more than 1,000 dictionaries. So I don't understand this. My explanation later was that I thought in his case he was doing that dictionary, he was producing a dictionary on Portuguese and synonyms and he was uh, focused in only that problem. That's how I understood the, the matter. Otherwise, I would think it was very strange. But you may be a polyglot in a life, and you decimate, and you come back, and you need to learn everything again. But it, this is paraphysiological, right? Yeah, I started remembering everything earlier. All of you will remember earlier. The problem is to fixate the retention, not losing the memory, keeping the memory. The hypomnesia will disappear little by little. That's why I say that Serenissimus forget, forgets nothing. And the transmitter has this kind of fixation. So our tendency is to evolve by amplifying our retentions. The more we keep, be it a block or a mass of retention, the more evolved we are. Because we record, it works. It's evolutionary intelligence itself. Yeah, uh, Professor, we keep doing exercises, memory exercises to remember everything, but the paraphysiology changes from life to life. Yeah, but just think about the religious people and how much time they waste, how many things are challenging our minds to investigate, to research, to approach. 
That's they're just making that face. That's terrible. Religion is terrible. They don't talk about this, but the loss of religion in one's mind is terrible. I was in Spiritism and I could see things, but I was trying to do things. And sometimes I had my hands crossed. My arms crossed. They are good people. Many people help others. But Valdo, the lack of parapsychism development is some kind of loss also, right? Uh, yeah, you're right. Definitely. That's what's worthy, the parapsychism. And people are wasting it. Question. Have you met Francisco Valdomiro Lawrence? He used to speak 72 languages. And do you think he was gifted? Well, I, of course he was gifted. But I haven't met him in person. But he was very specific. His problem was... Minimonic. Other question. My question is related to the head hitting. How about a person that enters uh, a pool, a swimming pool? Is it the same impact as in football? Well, it depends. It's never the same way, just like two football players hit their head. You can even listen. The sound is awful. Imagine, football players' head must be the hardest ones, because they use only their foot. So they must have hard head. Question. I participate in a psychic meeting in Belo Horizonte. And there is this psychic that receives an extra physical consciousness. We have a new psychic because George Perut has died. They say they are trying to reurbanize Brazil. Do you think this will take decades or centuries? Well, the reurbanization is involving the earth, and it will take millenniums. Although genetics is responsible for schizophrenia, what is the responsibility of the consciousness? Well, one can never reach this condition if she or he hasn't found the appropriate pathological companies. Question. Since I was a child, I make assistance. However, for the first time, I feel tired by assisting others because my family, sisters, my mother, and other relatives keep on doing gossip, keep on wasting their time talking about other people's life. I feel really tired and like an intruder in the family. It's not just uh, my nuclear, nucleus family, but also outside. How can I find more uh, disposition? And what do you think about this tiredness? Well, the intruders are starting to catch you. Be careful. Why don't you take these people and go out, make a trip? There are many uh, plane tickets available nowadays. Find some things, some new things. And when traveling, find a way so your relatives will be reading during the, the trips. Or give them some laptop so we will have to deal with their mental soma. There was this person that came here two years ago. And I gave this tip, so everybody would start studying uh, an interesting issue. 
and you see that sister of yours who is mad about fashion and you will look for fashion and put in the laptop and find a way for her to deal with that. She will improve her gossip problems. There are other personalities that, according to their tendency, they find what they are able to do with the laptop. And thinking about helping others and forgetting about uh, talking ill, talking evil about others. People have like a bad humor or like that dark humor. And schadenfreude. They, most time they have schadenfreude. Professor, you talked about parapsychism. Is it a matter of bad use in previous lives? Could you explain that and how is the intermissive course of these people with masked parapsychism? Well, when they have the shock, the intruder keep uh, having impact on these people because they are guilty. If they don't feel like renewing, recycling their way of life, they will continue keep they will continue as victims. But if you had a parapsychism in previous life, because you used it badly. Well, sometimes there is a deviation. And you don't have a parapsychism in a single life. You may have parapsychism for 15 lives. Just imagine the Cro-Magnon with the parapsychism. He was walking and all of a sudden he thought, oh, there is a dinosaur on my left. I'll go on the right. It, it happens. It all happens. And it's very old. So the Delphos Oracle is not as old as these parapsychisms. We know that for these people, the intermissive period was not good. But, well, if one is guilty and doesn't want to renew, to recycle, she or he will continue, will keep being a victim. I would not like to be even a flea nearby them. Their holothocene is not good. Think about that. Professor. Yesterday, when we were with Marcelo da Luz, and we were talking to the big boss from broadcasting, I talked to him this morning, but the case is the following. I used to see the white energies and I thought, but where is the, the boss? And he appeared and he's very intelligent, he's very clever, he tries to be updated. This was a cardinal, you know? And he was nearby Marcelo and he made this gesture. He thinks that Marcelo is in the right level. Let's see the next step. After this international journey, defending your book, let's see what comes next. And you, as his official secretary, help him, okay? But I really like that. I don't remember any consciousness saying this, doing this. This is something I do. But he kept doing this. It was very funny.
That's why I decided to speak and to enter the subject. It was outstanding, very good environment. Do you know how many people were there? There was a list, right? The list had about 270 people. Besides the online accesses and the cardinal people, there were students from intermissive course. People who had been priests. But wasn't Lourdes there and Jaime Pereira? Weren't they there? Oh, I missed them when the Cardinal did this gesture. We need to join these people together. It's very interesting. And the environment was very positive. And Tom liked it a lot. He was satisfied with your answers. I would like to know if you have studied something about cloning. Yes, I have. And what is the effect regarding multidimensionality. Well, it's a problem of consciousness. You cannot clone the consciousness, just the body. So it's useless. The problem is the consciousness itself and the level of discernment. So think about those Siamese's twins. And you understand more about cloning. Advertisements. We had 132 signatures, 19 presential questions, 22 online questions, 37 on-site on votes, and 13 online votes. We have several invitations, and Eduardo is going to talk about the encyclopedia. Nós temos alguns recados aqui bem importantes well, em relação today ao jantar do dia 8 de março. Primeiro, o fundamental, que o jantar ele é gratuito para todos os amigos da enciclopédia. A segunda informação importante, são 160 vagas para o programa Amigos da Enciclopédia. Os recursos para esse jantar são recursos obtidos a partir do patrocínio de empresas aqui de Foz do Iguaçu. E nós podemos dar isso. Dinner with the sponsorship of companies from Foz do Iguaçu. I'll repeat this information, okay? Because it's very important. important. Dia 20 de fevereiro, a gente encerra o nosso prazo para a apresentar o convite gratuito para o jantar. Então, no próximo dia 20 de fevereiro, os lugares são limitados a 160. Nós precisamos fechar um contrato com o hotel. Places. Para isso, We quem é amigo da enciclopédia precisa pegar os convites. Quem é aqui de Foz do Iguaçu, pega If os convites com os professores from Foz do Iguaçu, Fernando Barbaresco e Eliane Manfroy. You can have the ticket with Eliane Manfroy. If you are out of Foz do Iguaçu, you just call us through the telephone. Depois da data de 20 de fevereiro, não será mais possível pegar os convites. 45 is the code of the city. 35, 25, 26, 52. Eu acho que os recados eram esses. Obrigado. Boa tarde a todos. Good afternoon. Boa tarde, pessoal. Em nome da Reprendência, estamos convidando a behalf of Reprendência, we are inviting the teachers of Conscienciology to participate in the 10th qualification of teachers that will take place in Fazubassu from March 11 to 13. After 
então, existential balance. Esse curso, gente, the main goal é, os professores, is né, for the teachers who a sua teática, who sua review prática, their verb action é, da docência. Within então, esse curso é limitado, são 14 teaching. vagas, então a gente convida que todos os interessados possam places. estar realizando a sua inscrição para não perder essa places. oportunidade. É, para so maiores informações, busque é, pelo site da Reaprendência, www.reaprendência.org, ou ainda visit pelo telefone, .org. You are all invited. Boa tarde a todos. O Good Conselho afternoon. dos 500 the está completando um ano. Ele é um empreendimento grupal avançado Is na construção da democracia old. pura. It's a Hoje à tarde, às 15 horas, nós temos a Assembleia do Conselho for dos Pure Democracy. no discernimento. Além We da comemoração de um ano, nós deliberaremos delibera sobre vários temas. Um deles é o sistema online de votação. Themes. E One of them é outro is the online vote system, Além disso, teremos which is really advanced within pure democracy. Besides that, we will also have the entre outros assuntos. Council members, todos às and you are all invited to participate. Obrigada. Boa tarde. Eu gostaria de estar convidando para a semana da Max Proex. Vai estar ocorrendo de 5 a 13 de março. Nós temos 11 atividades durante esse período. Eu gostaria de estar dando destaque ao balanço existencial. E eu gostaria de dar destaque ao balanço segunda e terça-feira. Onde a pessoa pode ter a oportunidade de fazer um balanço Tuesday, sobre a sua existência. E fazer um replanejamento do que ela pretende ao longo aí dessa, dessa Proex que ela tem ainda para ser cumprida. Tá? Outra atividade que eu também gostaria de dar destaque é o curso Amparadores, do professor Mário Oliveira. Esse curso é, estará ocorrendo no dia 9 de fevereiro, na quarta-feira, no período da tarde e noite. Começa às 15 horas e vai até às 21h30. Então, estão todos convidados. As inscrições so podem ser feitas aqui na recepção do CAEC. Quem também está é, CAEC, fora, que gostaria de estar acessando, para If ter you maiores informações, informações pode acessar o site da Apex, que é www Go Lá to www.apexinternational.org. Obrigado. Thank you. Boa tarde. É, o nosso convite aqui é para o Verbetografia. Our invitation is for entryography. Ele tem um modelo intensivo This e semipresencial. Semi as, as aulas online já ocorreram, the mas online elas estão classes é, have already happened, but no, they are na página free do verbetógrafo for you to access na primeira página ali da in the first da página web da, page do site da Tertulia. In Tertulia's então, web page. So you, when you enter Tertulia, to se você watch Tertulia, se você percorrer mais If you você vai encontrar uma look entrada on the left, you find an entry Ali você vai encontrar as to três the aulas entry writer's page. Que foram online. There are several é definição, classes antonímia, é a primeira, about a definition, a, a synonym, geral, and antonym, and an overview about the entry. Da da and also e the estilo Encyclopedia Table e um the Style. Agora, fora isso, a parte presencial vai começar agora, quarta-feira, às 15 horas, presencial module vai até o domingo. Happen é um curso intensivo. A ideia é que a gente Sunday. consiga varrer todas as sessões nesse período de quatro dias e meio. Então, a gente espera você que está interessado em fazer o seu verbete para enviar para a Enciclopédia da Conscienciologia. Então, nós esperamos por você para enviar para a Enciclopédia da Conscienciologia. Então, nós esperamos por você para o verbo de leito para amanhã é subrutina parapsíquica, especialidade auto-parapercepciologia. Obrigada e boa tarde a todos. Obrigada.